you know, I've been listening to a few videos to secure us, and it's like people talk about privilege, especially white privilege, or male privilege, or straight privilege, and it's like, well, there are those things, but the problem is with privilege is that it's the incomplete paradigm. In other words, they're looking at things that are part of the whole, but really miss the whole together, you know. Um, like, for example, a privilege is something that's like a status. And that's like your social status. So... Saying that because it's just about race or gender or sexuality is missing the overall sociological picture of it. And it seems to me that in a capitalist society, uh, the real measure of privilege is your wealth, your social status is set upon by economic privilege. Uh, and I think that's true of most everything, especially we're in a free society. So, that, although uh, various factors become a part of it, the idea of intersectionality and victim groups are a misnomer because they don't fully recognize when it is against those ideas that privilege still plays a part and what should be <coughs> fought for and what should really just be unregulated and left alone. Um, let society and culture make its own decisions. To a point. And I think the point is, is that when you try to regulate values and morality outside of the law, outside of the necessity of the law, or even I see, sort of feel that uh, ideas of the law as they are now are very intrusive, just like the blue laws were 30 to 50 years ago, um, that you can't really justify the authoritarianism, even if it's, it's so-called progressive. Because progressive or conservative, they're really talking about positive and negative rights. You're talking about what the government, uh, uh, what right you have to not be infringed upon by the government and what right the government has to try to uh, support your rights i.e. infringing on your rights not to be interfered with by the government yeah that's pretty much the way it is and while I am an economic progressive I am fully realized that uh, this is a intrusion, and the only reason I have this view at all, instead, instead of being a strict libertarian, is that you cannot serve the public good with profit. Uh, some of that is a necessary evil for the greater good. Yeah, we've all heard that before, but more or less, you know, people need their SSI, people need their freaking Medi-Cal, people need friggin' assistance programs, people need friggin' uh, support for education, you know, yada, 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 you know, and uh, probably free legal, too, you know, or something equivalent, because that's something our society has to work on as well, is actual representation within the law <coughs> that won't be dominated by the law. I think that's another problem we have. So, yes, the problem is the I 
the progressives, the social progressive idea of privilege is simply flawed in that it only takes certain aspects of it. Where in actuality, things would be much better if they would just be left alone. And for the people who won't, perhaps it's time we actually start making some demands of those who refuse. You know, not that I'm advocating anything bad. I'm just saying, you know, uh, enough is enough, really. We need to take our country back. All right, this is Curious with that revolutionary friggin' point. <laughs> Don't cut my SSI. <laughs> Bye.